Hey folks, want to know more about Logitech G213 gaming keyboard? Stick around to find out. Hey folks and welcome back to another video from D1DLC. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Logitech G213 gaming keyboard from Logitech G and with me today is Jordo. Hey. So kicking it right off, let's uh, we've had a chance to play around with this keyboard did, for a little yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got some impressions and stuff like that. Uh, we've also got a review up on the website for this as well, so if you'd like to take a look at that, definitely have a read. Uh, we've got all of our scores on there as well. But today we're just going to step you through the keyboard itself, what the features are and what our opinions are on it. Yeah, so, so uh, what, what game did you play on this one? So mainly Battlefield 1, I think yep, that's pretty same much Same actually. So I yeah. did do a cross section of games so we could get a bit of an idea for the different styles of use. So uh, yep. I played a bit of Inside, uh, Battlefield 1 and a bit of Mafia 3 as okay. well. So it gave me a good idea of um, the different style of gaming that you might be doing on this keyboard. Um, so it's a uh, all round, it's a pretty good all rounder keyboard. We'll mm -hmm. start off with uh, what it is. So it, it kind of looks like it wants to take off as a mechanical keyboard. It's it not, absolutely does. It's yeah. not a mechanical, it's it's a membrane style keys. So um, the squishy stuff under the key, there's no yep. switches involved in this. Correct. Um, but it does have a, a relatively sleek, simplistic style to it. Um, and it uh, does have, um, for good or bad, um, a hard mounted, this is not a removable armrest. Yeah. Uh, and it's a, it's a hard molded plastic, it's not soft or anything like that. Cool, yeah. So it's, it's a, a bit hit and miss. I didn't find it an issue for me when I use it, and generally I tend to leave some of these uh, armrests on anyway. Obviously there's no mm -hmm. option to take this off. Um, but I didn't find it impacted my gaming at all or my um, the feel for the keyboard at all. Yep. But it is a bit annoying that you can't remove it. Well, that's the thing for me because I don't usually use one. And then, you know, put this in front of me, I was like, oh, you know, it's just mm. not, it didn't feel right to me personally yep. because I don't use them. Sure. Yeah. So it might feel a bit awkward if you're not used to the armrest, yeah. which, yeah, is a bit of a downer. Um, so obviously there are some functional buttons up here uh, to the top right of the keyboard. Um, so this is your media sort of display yep. uh, Play, section Play, stop, here. Yeah. fast forward, that uh, type of thing. It's going to be a bit marmite for some. Some people will never use these. I mm. personally don't tend to use them. I did try them out uh, watching some movies uh, and things like that. And it's functionally um, fine. Like it does what it's yeah. intended to do. And it's nice to have the option there if you want to. Um, they, also, they've got a rubber feeling too, right? Yeah, they're yeah. a little bit, um, they're not quite the same as your, your actual keys hmm. uh, are. But they're, uh, yeah, functionally yeah. quite good. I never had a problem with actually fully pressing them down and actually working. That was all fine. Um, so you've also got uh, the 12 programmable keys, that your function keys up the top as well. So you can use uh, the Logitech G gaming software mm -hmm. suite mm -hmm. um, to update the key uh, keyboard itself. Um, you can do a range of programmable things. Like I said before, macro keys up the top, yep. your Fs. Um, you can also change all the colors. Uh, this is a six, uh, how many? 16.8 million. 16.8 million mm -hmm. uh, colors. So chroma, chroma colors backlit, each yep. individual key is backlit. And you can customize specific keys to be lit up with uh, others um, to be not. Correct. So, so your gaming modes and things like yeah. that. So your WASAD and your space bar and stuff can be lit up and nothing else. Which Only the keys in which you need for that game. Yep. And yeah. you can customize each game uh, to match the layout that you want so if you're playing like a, a dota or something like that you're obviously going to use different keys than yeah. a first person shooter um, so you can select all of those in the logitech software very easily so the software itself is excellent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, i did notice um, and you can pr probably a bit hard to see with the lights here but we'll do some cutaways in a minute so you can see how bright those keys come up um, they, they do they are a bit dull they're not particularly bright um, it does stand out a lot more when you're contrasting the keys for the game though like i said in the logitech oh, yeah. software yep. um, and uh, the, the color range is pretty good white's not quite white um, rgb is is fine um, quite strong reds greens yep. and blues um, and a mixture in between is not too bad all right, so what did you actually think about it when you were playing, say, BF1? Yeah, okay, so um, for the most part, it was functionally fine. I didn't find it really an issue. I currently use a membrane key uh, keyboard anyway, so for me, it wasn't uh, a giant step down. If you're using a mechanical keyboard, um, this will be a step down. You will notice a significant difference. I absolutely difference, so. did. Yeah, yep. I, I truly did because I, I do use the mechanical, and uh, I gave this one a go, and it, I almost uh, felt like it was... Um, a bit sticky in a way. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's a fair assumption, I think, because I did notice that a little bit when I was playing. Um, there is anti-ghosting functionality on the keyboard as well, but I did feel sometimes if I uh, got a bit nervous or a bit jumpy yep. in Battlefield and I was spamming WASD and space all at the same time, it would sort of get a bit confused as to what I was trying to do, uh -huh. which is fair enough because I was confused as well. But yep. uh, I did notice it would be just a tad sticky and not quite as... Um, responsive as I probably would have wanted 
Um, with that said, it's definitely uh, definitely a, a, a good performer for gaming. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, these range for what's the recommended? So on recommended this? retail price is around about that ninety nine dollar mark. Um, okay, and that's yep. roughly. Uh, there's not a lot of retailers out there that are stocking these yet. Yep. Um, but uh, they seem to be uh, reflecting that ninety nine dollar yeah. price point. See, I think for the about the ninety nine dollar mark, I'd be happy with this keyboard. Yep. Um, for the aesthetics. Yep. Because there's not too many keyboards out there for the $99 range that has the Chroma. Yeah, absolutely. You know the I mean? Chroma is probably one of the biggest draw cards for this yeah. one. Um, yeah. The fact that they've been able to keep the cost down with membrane keys but give you the features, sort of the media playback and the uh, yep. backlit LED keys yeah. um, is, is a positive for, for this one in particular. Now, Prodigy, um, Logitech are releasing the Prodigy series mm -hmm. specifically designed for entry-level gamers. So you've got to keep that in mind when you're looking at this particular keyboard. It is for an entry-level gamer yeah. or a casual gamer. So it's not going to have all the bells and whistles that your other brands are going to have. Um, and it's supposed to be marketed at that uh, price point that you can get into a game Entry level, relatively yeah. cheaply. So, yep. um, And yeah, look, my opinion is um, if it was priced maybe $10 less, maybe $15, $20 less, it would be an absolute no-brainer. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Marketed at the $99 price point, there are some mechanical keyboards that are coming out in the market now that you can get that will beat this in terms of functionality. Right. Um, you're looking at some of the, the Razer Black Widow tournament uh -huh. editions. Yep. Now, that said, that doesn't have the numpad, Correct. so you are losing some space um, for mechanical keys on that. But there's a few other brands, uh, lesser known brands, that are coming out with mechanical keyboards at around that $99 price point now as well. So it's going to be a tough sell sometimes going forward for this to hold up against some of the mechanicals. Mm -hmm. But it's got the Logitech brand, it's got the Logitech warranty, and you know they make quality Which products. Which is so, absolutely awesome. So that's that's definitely something that's got going for it. I do think they've just overshot their price point. There we go. But otherwise, uh, we really enjoyed using the Logitech keyboard. What's your favorite keyboard that you currently use, uh, and what would you recommend for budding gamers out there? Um, we definitely don't have a problem with recommending this um, if it's on sale. Yeah. Absolutely. There we go. So thank you very much for watching this, and thank you for Logitech to send this one out. Much yeah, really appreciate it. that. Yeah. Uh, and we've got some other Logitech products coming up, so stay, stay tuned. tuned for some of those. Hmm. And uh, thanks for watching today. It's like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.